Hi, my name is Aprajita and I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Enterprise Business Unit at Cisco. In this video, we'll look at Cisco's latest innovation for resiliency in wireless networks, which is in-service software upgrade or ISSU. Resiliency in the context of wireless deployments is measured by network availability for clients. This means minimal or no disruption in the network in the event of controller or AP faults, controller or AP software updates, and the ability to roll out network images without impact to the client connectivity. Over the years, AirOS, and now most recently with 9800, we have tackled this from different angles. We have different models of deployment that customers can choose from, a standalone, N plus one, or SSO, depending on the downtime acceptable. But with wireless now running business critical applications, more and more customers are tending towards the modes that offer the highest levels of redundancy. When it comes to tackling controller and network faults, the standalone controller takes a hit of several tens of minutes. The N plus one, this is slightly reduced in the order of a few minutes, but still a noticeable impact to APs and clients is observed. SSO or stateful switchover provides a zero downtime sub-second switchover, allowing no impact to APs and clients in the event of the controller failure. When it comes to controller and AP bug fixes, iOS XE is uniquely designed to accept patches in the form of SMUs and AP service packs. This solves the problem of the network being down for tens of minutes while a new image is being loaded. It also expedites the fix going into the network as well as contains the impact to an already released code on the controller. The most disruptive process, however, is the image upgrade where the entire controller image has to be upgraded to the next release. With standalone controllers, this results in severe network downtime. For an N plus one deployment, a feature called N plus one rolling AP upgrade provides a zero downtime solution with automated workflow on DNAC. However, with most business critical applications running on wireless, SSO is more desirable solution than N plus one. Up until now, both the SSO pair upgrade meant that both the controllers at the same time had to be reloaded or they had to use an N plus one controller as a way to carry out the upgrade. The solution we have all been waiting for is finally here. In-service software upgrade is now available as beta in 17.1 release. The three big benefits that ISSU offers is eliminating downtime in the network. This is huge because it means customers can upgrade their production networks without waiting several weeks to schedule a downtime window. Eliminating the need to have an additional N plus one controller purely for the purposes of upgrade and automating the process of the upgrade without the need for manual intervention. It maintains all APs and client sessions during the upgrade and is carried out natively from the controller without the need for an external orchestrator or extra license. The prerequisites are that the base image has to be 17.1 or higher, the controller has to be in SSO ready state, and the boot mode has to be set to install. ISSU is supported on the 9800L, 9840, 9880, and 9800 private cloud. ISSU is in the beta test program as of 17.1 and will be in production in iOS XE release 17.3. The ISSU workflow utilizes the base SSO capability that has been enhanced in a couple of key ways to enable in-service upgrades. The process begins with the user uploading a target image. The image is pre-downloaded to all the APs and also synced automatically to the standby controller. The standby is then reloaded. APs at this point are continuing to run V1 on the active and standby is running V2. Active running V1 and standby running V2 form an SSO pair which was earlier not possible and is one of the enhancements that makes ISSU possible. Once the HA pair is ready, a switchover is executed. Standby running V2 now becomes the active and the old active reloads thus 
coming up with the code V2. At this point, both controllers are on V2 and APs are on V1. So this is the second enhancement that allows ISSU to be possible. Once the two controllers are in ready state on SSO, a staggered or rolling AP upgrade is kick-started and runs in the background according to the selected parameters. The basic idea with rolling AP upgrade is to upgrade access points in the wireless network in a staggered manner such that some APs are always in the network providing RF coverage to clients. Three main highlights to this feature. We support this natively on the device, so there is no need for Prime or an external orchestration platform. We support automatic RRM-based candidate AP selection using the AP neighbor information. And three, we actively steer clients from candidate APs to make sure that we have seamless network connectivity as APs are being upgraded. The user has the flexibility to choose the percentage of APs that are upgraded in each iteration. The smaller this percentage, the more iterations there are, and the longer it takes to upgrade the entire network. However, since this is happening in the background without impacting the network, this is a non-disruptive process. Clients that are associated with the candidate APs are selectively steered off to other APs with an 11V packet. And the disassociation imminent flag is set within these packets. If clients do not honor this, they will be disassociated before the AP reloads. And if they support 11K, they can use that to avoid rescanning every channel. Once the two controllers are on V2, a commit can be executed even before the rolling AP upgrade completes. Commit makes the changes permanent and creates a rollback point that can be later used to roll back the controller if needed. Let's now look at the ISSU workflow. Using the controller UI, this is an automated process and comes down to three clicks to get the process started. Selecting the image to upgrade to. This can be done using FTP, TFTP, HTTP. Selecting the ISSU upgrade checkbox. And then clicking on download and install. Once this starts, the system will take over all operations and the status of this process can be seen on the tab on the right hand side. The image is first added to the standby controller and then pre-downloaded to all the access points. This can be viewed as a pre-image AP download log file. The standby is then activated with V2 and paired back with active to form an SSO pair. Once that happens, a switchover is triggered and the user needs to re-log in to the new active controller. Once the SSO is reformed, the standby is now on V2 as well and a commit can be executed or the same can be done after the rolling AP upgrade process. The rolling AP upgrade process starts on its own and can be monitored using the AP Upgrade Statistics, a dialog box. Once that is complete, an install commit can be executed and this makes the changes permanent. The process for ISSU is now complete and active and standby along with all the APs are now on V2. With ISSU and several other resiliency features like SSO, patching and rolling AP upgrade, the Catalyst 9800 is the most resilient controller for your wireless networks. Thank you for watching.